What's up, YouTube? Glenn here, coming to ya. I know what you're thinking. Who's this well-groomed Glenn, and what happened to the River to River Trail Glenn? To kind of spoil it for you, I had to get off trail early because of cold weather, which I'm sure you will eventually find out when you continue watching my through hike series videos. I do intend on going back and finishing the trail uh, this upcoming spring when the weather's a little bit more clear and nicer, and hopefully there isn't a cold snap coming through the country. I had made some videos in the past covering my food loadout as well as a resupply for food on the River to River Trail. And I wanted to kind of correct some errors I feel like I personally made in those videos. I overpacked way too much food for this hike. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to give a better, more clear perspective on personally what I actually ate while I was on the River to River Trail. This might not necessarily work for everybody that's on the trail, but for me, for my appetite, I mean, this is what worked for me. One thing I quickly learned on the River to River Trail is when you plan and prep for a through hike like this, you, at least I did right off the bat, I automatically assumed, okay, I'm going to eat this, I'm going to eat this, I'm going to eat this, and... The first thing I was looking at was calories, and I wasn't really considering what a lot of professional through hikers consider now is uh, calories by ounce, is what I'm, if I'm correctly referencing it, that's what I'm told is what you have to look at. I was just looking at calories in general. I was looking at how I can get 2,000 plus calories into my body so that I can burn it, so that I can maintain the pace that I was keeping on the River to River Trail. So obviously, for those of you that have done this, you can already tell right off the bat that I overpacked on food, which means my pack was too heavy. You're correct. My food bag when I went out and started was 11 pounds, way too much food. And uh, ultimately, when I got to my resupply box, you can imagine I did not pack a lot of that food either. So to just kind of give a better breakdown, certain things, for example, like coffee. I didn't drink a whole lot of coffee on trail, which is funny because I'm an avid coffee drinker. I'd like to drink coffee. Uh, but when I'm hiking, for some reason, I don't like to drink coffee. Or maybe when I'm at home, but not when I'm on trail. When I was on trail, when I woke up in the morning, the first thing I wanted to do was to get my camp broken down get everything packed up so I can get on trail. This meant as far as breakfasts go, I needed something super quick and simple. Originally on my food loadout and my resupply boxes, I had packed these Belbita biscuits with peanut butter packets. Uh, didn't eat any of those. Um, once I got packed up and I was on the go, when I was hungry and an appetite hit me, and this was usually a few miles down the trail by that point. I was jumping into my uh, fanny pack where I kept my snacks. And my main go-to were these Jelly Belly Sport Beans. Mainly because they had a lot of caffeine in them. About 100 calories a pack. These things were lifesavers in the morning. But throwing these in the fanny pack and once I got down the trail... After I pumped a bunch of water in me throughout the morning, I grew an appetite. This was the first thing I would jump to. If I didn't have the Jelly Bellies, I would probably jump to something like a Cliff Bar when I stop for a water break. Um, or if I'm you know, hiking at a decent pace that I can snack on something. Uh, for like lunch type stuff, I didn't stop for lunches. Uh, I was constantly hiking. If I stopped at all, it was to collect water and keep moving. So another thing, I would reach into the fanny pack if I wanted a snack. I packed a lot of these Slim Jim sticks, these little mini Slim Jim sticks. These things were also lifesavers. Pull one of these out of my mouth real quick, get some food in me, get some calories in me, and keep going. The only meal that I ever stopped to fully prepare was at the end of the night... I had put together my freeze-dried meals into packaged Ziploc bags. 
I did this mainly to conserve on pack space and pack weight. And uh, for the most part, it worked. I did, however, notice, again, because my appetite changes while I'm on trail, I could never put down a full meal. I don't know why. So I only ate half of one. And then what I ended up doing was saving the other half for the morning. Believe me, these are not good cold in the morning. This is just what I ended up doing while I was on the river to river. Again, going back to the purpose of this video is to kind of correct the information that I had originally put out for packing food on the river to river. Yes, it's important that you don't starve yourself by any means, that you're eating, that you're giving your, your body the energy it needs to burn the calories so that you can hike the trail. But at the same time, you want to pack food smart. So you want to pack foods that are packed with calories, but keeping ounces in mind. If I'm referencing this, again, if I'm referencing this correctly, I'm a noob, by no means a professional through hiker. So this information that I'm providing in this video is just simply stuff that I did while I was on the trail that worked for me while I was on the trail. I ended up tossing, not really tossing. Uh, there was a hiker box, like a fridge that I donated all my food to so that other hikers could enjoy it. But I ended up getting rid of a lot of the food that I did pack. I packed way too much food. So, and occasionally if I needed some electrolytes, I would throw a drink mix in there and that was either Propel or a Gatorade drink mix. And that was just to refuel my electrolytes to keep me from feeling dehydrated, to keep me going. I really hope I touched on everything I need to touch on in this video. Please, if you have any questions, comment below. I will answer them to the best of my abilities, to the best of my knowledge. Again, I am no professional through hiker. I'm new to this. I'm trying to get more experienced and to gain more knowledge in this, and I will over time. But I just wanted to touch on the food. Well, if you want to watch the other videos I made, you can see what I packed. But in this video, I'm actually just covering what I actually ate while I was out there, which was almost none of the food that I had packed. Funny story. I didn't toss any food. I didn't waste any food. Whatever food I didn't eat on the trail, I ended up donating to a hiker box sort of fridge thing that was made for other hikers to scavenge in. I didn't throw anything away. It's definitely a learning experience. When I get back out onto the River to River Trail in spring of next year, I am now more prepared as far as food goes. I will try to make another video for the food that I will be carrying out when I tackle the second half of the trail from Goddard Crossing to Grand Tower. It's definitely, I will say, uh, an experience that anybody who's into hiking, through hiking, should experience the River to River Trail. Especially during the fall with the colors and everything, uh, you just have to be mindful that fall time down there is that time once a year where spontaneously cold temperatures arise. I was trying my best to keep eyes on the temperatures. It just didn't work out that way. So that just about sums up today's video. I hope this provides some knowledge to anybody that's looking at the River to River Trail is trying to figure out food. Again, this is just what worked for me. I am by no means a professional through hiker. I'm not telling you what type of diet you should or should not choose for this trail. This is just simply what worked for me. And the quickest thing I learned is that your appetite on trail is going to change. What you think you want before you start this hike is not necessarily going to be what you want while you're on this hike. That is the first thing I quickly learned while I was on this trail. So. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on my through hike series here for the River to River Trail and any more additional content I might put out. Again, comment below what videos you would like to see or if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.